All right then, ladies and gents, how's it going? I'm out on my tow rack as usual this time of year. Um, certainly when I'm on the road, that is anyway. Um, yeah, my gig's are. I did think about coming out today. It's a lovely day, but there is still a bit of frost about. So I thought just not worth it, not worth it. I'm right bang in the middle of a 72 hour week at work. Uh, so uh, the fact that my one day off this week is nice and sunny and awesome. I thought well, I had to get out on the bike. I had to, it would be criminal for me not to. So with that in mind, I'm just heading over to Rikers to get some lunch. You know me and my biker cafe type vlogs. It's all the same, isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got no real agenda for today. Um, I just thought I'd bring you along with me and see what pops up in my tiny little poo brain. Keep that bike from down. There is quite a bit of traffic today. But most of it is easily passable if you just time it right. Oh, I'm so glad that we've got some blue skies though. Yeah, yesterday while I was at work, I, I was looking at my Twitter feed and hearing about all the people that I follow that were able to get out on their bikes yesterday. And I was just like, oh, that's so unfair, so unfair. <laughs> but it's so, so awesome to get out in this blue sky. This time of year can be magical on a motorcycle. It really can. As long as you've got a decent kit for it. Something I wanted to do when I was up at the bike show was get some new gloves. So I got these ones up there a couple of years ago and they're doing all right, they're fine. Uh, but I wanted to get some waterproof gloves for off-roading and I also wanted to get a new pair of summer gloves for off-roading too that are a bit more durable and protective than just basic motocross gloves. Um, but most of the stuff up there was utter tat or really expensive and didn't fit. Uh, but I did find a pair of Alpine stars up there um, that had a show price on them, um, but I didn't buy them, I didn't buy them. What I did was I went home, looked them up on Sports Bike Shop, who weren't up at the show because they don't have a stand up there, and they had 20% off for the Black Friday stuff, and I got them even cheaper than I'd have got them up at the show, which is quite nice, quite cool. But I didn't get the waterproof off-road gloves or the wintry off-road gloves. I actually ordered them before going up. Um, I looked at who the people were going to the show were going to be and they didn't stock the item I wanted so I ended up ordering it from Germany. I could have got it from Sports Bike Shop but I wasn't sure on sizing and they only had one size in stock so um, yeah but I say that um, I actually saved about 20 quid or 30 quid buying them from Germany um, so uh, that's a result anyway I guess saving a bit of money. I do like supporting the Sports Bike Shop as well as my other more local retailers just because uh, um, well, it's good to support the UK industry, isn't it, really? Um, and Sports Bike Shop have always treated us well, us bikers well. I thought while I was shopping at Sports Bike Shop that I'd have a look at their other items that they had in their uh, Black Friday sale or whatever you called it. And, uh, yeah, I got this jacket. It's a, it's a bomber jacket, Ar armor or something like that. I, I, I can't remember the, the brand of it. Um, but it seems really good. Once I've worn it for a little bit, I'll maybe um, do like a mention about it a bit more on a on a video as well as the gloves. I'll definitely be reviewing the off-road gloves though because uh, I, I think um, if you find a good pair of them that do everything you want it to it's worth shouting about because I either find everything's too road based which means it's too hot for off-road um, or just get sodden or it's too off-road based which means you just don't get the uh, sort of protection that you need on, on the road bikes so I'm hoping that the ones I've got are going to be a nice compromise but so far our initial impressions of this jacket are pretty good um, my hands are actually cold it's uh, 8 degrees according to the dashboard and I've got my heated grips I've just turned them up to level 2 because my fingertips are just getting a little bit a little bit chilly um, and, and turning into icicles <laughs> um, but my jacket and my body is, is nice and warm and cosy so uh, yes as far as warmth goes this jacket is a win uh, protection who knows um, it doesn't have a back protector although it comes with a slot for one um, but it does have CE armour um, but I was reading a very interesting article I should have gone that way I was reading a very interesting article on Twitter posted by um, who was it bike social uh, the Bennett's bike um, social media people uh, 
they were talking about the different armor ratings and you've got a aa and triple a and um was it triple a is supposedly the bee's knees the dog's danglies and all that sort of stuff um and yes it kind of is the higher abrasion rating that you get currently um in the current classifications but that doesn't mean it's any blooming good it doesn't mean it's any blooming good you could have a kangaroo skin one piece race suit tailor made so it fits you properly doesn't move around that would be triple a rated and then you could have a um a jacket that hasn't got any belt loops that's also triple a rated um like a, like a casual jacket like this and uh, yeah it's crazy i mean i I'm, I'm fully aware that this doesn't offer as much protection as a kangaroo race suit but the fact that it potentially could have the same rating according to um how everything's done uh yeah 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 i want to get past this just do it slowly Yeah, it's mad, and uh, it seems like the manufacturers are quite happy, or at least the, the uh, more budget-friendly manufacturers are quite happy to uh, have it as it is, because it makes their stuff look as good as the stuff the police wear and all that sort of stuff, and that's wrong. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting if uh, something could get done about that. Um, I mean, like having three A's means that, say, um, my Oxford... Uh, Super hoodie, I think that's 3A, it might be double A, I'm not sure, um, would be more fairly marked as the 3A if, say, your uh, kangaroo skin or the Ness leather suit was 5As or whatever. I mean, I, uh, it's all kind of an arbitrary thing because whatever you have, there's always going to be something better that would feel it unfair that it was getting classified um, the same as something inferior. Um, but three is a really bad number for a box model these you should uh, have enough of a scale to actually have that scale offer value and information to the, the, the customer buying a product yeah rant rant grumble moan <laughs> well the nice weather seems to have gone <laughs> it's looking very murky and wintry here which i guess it kind of is murky and wintry being winter and all that sort of stuff uh i'm hoping i'm hoping <laughs> that the weather is going north or south because uh, I want that sunshine on the way home. <laughs> Alrighty, well this is probably just a kind of a rubbish vlog but you're getting it anyway so um, yeah that's about it. If you haven't done so already please do give this channel a little subscribe, click that subscribe button. If you like the video give it a thumbs up, if you didn't you can give it a little thumbs down or I don't mind at all. But whatever you do, please do drop in a comment. I very much love hearing from you. Any households, are you ride safe? Take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Keep that bye. Rubber side down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bye. Rubber side down.